We're into 18 months into the Healthy Active Learning Initiative and today we've brought the school leads um, of this initiative back together to really review our progress so far, particularly around the Healthy Active Learning outcomes around quality physical activity, which includes play, physical um, education and sport, and also the healthy food and nutrition environment and drink environment of schools. The focus of today's hui is to review the quality physical activity component of the Healthy Active Learning Initiative um, and particularly around uh, curriculum, physical education and also just to review some of the work around sport and play that we've undertaken during our time over the last 18 months. In addition to that we really are now going to be focusing on the healthy food and and drink environment as part of the Healthy Active Learning Initiative and we've got Kate Rhodes from Sport Gisborne who's kindly come down to actually help us out with this approach. Kia ora, my name's Kate, I'm the dietitian working at Sport Gisborne Tairawhiti in the um, Healthy Active Learning Initiative. So today was really about building uh, the confidence in our teachers um, to help support our children become healthy eaters. So we're really talking about what does healthy eating look like and what are some resources and activities that these teachers can use in schools to try and encourage um, our children developing a positive relationship with food. Um, so I really work with schools um, together in whatever they want support with. So that kind of looks different for every school, um, but always try and keep it hands on, um, fun, and doing some kind of activity that involves carbs. Um, nutrition is so important, I think, just for that overall holistic health. Uh, what we put in our bodies can and make us feel so much better, but also helps to support our mental health. Um, it's not just physical health as well, it's kind of spiritual health too. And food really helps to connect us. Um, and it's just a really social uh, thing that we can share together. Kia ora, my name is Debbie and I'm a teacher at St James School in Aranui. So, the Healthy Active Learning Initiative in our school has been going pretty smoothly um, and I believe that that's thanks to the great support that um, I've had with um, Vicky Cowley. One of the great things that has been implemented is the long-term plan for PE and health and that's going to, what well, has been started to be put into practice but has been interrupted with COVID and lockdown but we hope to get that underway next year in 2022. As part of our school, um, we're a drink only school. Uh, we also have breakfast in schools. We have the MOE lunches that come to schools and the children are well looked after in that regard with nutrition. We stop during the morning to have a fruit break to allow the children to um, take that on board and help them with their learning. I'm Taylor Jew and I teach at Te Aramauri and Rovell School. Um, our Healthy Active Learning program started two, just about two years ago and um, it's been a really great asset to our school. We have incorporated our PALS into teaching um, physical activity and games at like once a week every lunchtime. Um, the kids really enjoy this to be active. We find majority of our kids at lunchtimes are active, which is a real bonus. Um, we also, I also take um, a game every once a week during a lunchtime, and I find this helps to support communication within the kids and to keep them active at the same time. Nutrition is an important part at Te Aramauri Broadwell School. We encourage water only within our tamariki and we also have fruit snack every day within the school. So that encourages students to bring um, fruit or vegetable to eat um, in between the start of the day and morning tea. 